Howdy champs, my name is more than people today. I'm going to explain the position property in CSS. Uh, let's start. I'm going to work with the doc type HTML5 and I'm going to use Zen Coding uh, Code Assist plugin. Dreamweaver as such doesn't come with that plugin. You just need to, uh, you know, install an extension and then it's actually available. It allows you to code fast. That's all that it is. Uh, right. So I'm going to say HTML colon 5. Control X. I needed to put it out here on the left hand side. Right. And then I'm going to say Control comma. Right. And uh, let's say position property out here. Cool. Now let's start uh, coding inside the body of the document. That's exactly what is visible on the web page. And again, I'm going to use Zen coding to code out uh, fast. H2 plus H1 with a class with a class of check or whatever you would want to name it plus as a sibling another h2 element and now I'm gonna expand it by hitting control plus comma right so people inside the body of the document we have opening closing h2 tags h1 tag and another pair of h2 tag out here okay this h1 tag has the class check again people let me tell you that I'm using a code assist extension or a plugin Zen coding I just love it I'm gonna go out here and uh, this is the first edit point I'm gonna write the word one then I'm gonna press control alt right arrow to enter the second uh, edit point and say two control alt right arrow key I'm inside the third edit point and I'm gonna say three okay this is the way my document looks like right now I'm gonna click out here in line number nine I'm gonna define the class check now and uh, it's okay if it's getting saved inside this document only I'm happy to keep it internal or embedded let me say okay let me give it a color of red and uh, yep and say okay now so people we have three elements on our web page an h2 followed by an h1 and again we have an h2 now by default all h uh, html elements are static in nature uh, the default position property is static what does static mean before I actually explain what does static mean let me first uh, insert a reset rule that will apply to everything okay so margin colon 0 px and padding 0 px as well alright that's gonna ensure that uh, the paddings and the margins for all the elements are removed cool now let's get get back to um, static in nature is the default position property what do I mean by that when an element is static it preserves the normal flow and what is the normal flow what do I mean by normal flow what I really mean is uh, an inline element will remain adjacent to each other and uh, a block level element as in our case h2s or h1s will always be under the other element all right all block level elements occupy the whole space available from left to the right inline elements can sit adjacent to each other for example the a anchor tag the link tag that is right the strong tag the big tag so um, 
that is the normal flow a division will always follow another division and come under it right it will not be left or right an image will always be a chest it will rub shoulders but that is not the case with a div a span will rub shoulders but a division will be up and down right so that is the normal flow now all elements are by their very nature static they will uh, honor the normal flow so depending on whether they are inline or block level elements they will preserve that flow since in our case h2s and h1s are block level elements uh, they will not rub shoulders but they'll come under each other which is the normal flow right once an element is actually made uh, absolute or fixed they actually break the normal flow other elements then ignore them as if they are not present uh it'll be great to see that in action i'm going to target uh, the h1 element which has a class of check i'm going to make it fixed i'm going to go out here i'm going to add property i'm going to say uh position fixed Okay, and let's go into the live view and see what happens. Very clearly, people, it has broken the normal flow. Uh, the H1 element that is H2 has ignored as if uh, the word two is not there. It's just uh, you know, it's followed one, but it's uh, it's gone. You you see, uh, the word two has gone off the normal flow. Another thing about. Uh, an element which has a fixed uh, property is that it does not scroll with the page so if my page was really lengthy and if i were to scroll up and down what's fixed is actually fixed it's cemented it's anchored and not move now if i were to change the um, position property out here to absolute see what happens no change that's because whether it's fixed or whether it's absolute it's gonna uh, not honor the normal flow so you see the word 3 since uh, is, is ignoring the uh, element 2 as if or uh, the word 2 as if it's not there right and it's gonna take that place but if you uh, set the position property of an element 2 relative the normal flow is actually honored and we're gonna see that Another uh, uh, thing to remember is that when you set something to absolute, it's going to scroll with the page. That's unlike how things work with an element which is actually fixed. That's another difference that you need to remember. Okay. Now, now see out here the word 2 is actually overlapping the word 3. Now, once you set an element to absolute or relative, uh, sorry, uh, absolute or fixed or even relative this is going to happen and we can fix it using the or we can change the stack order using the z index uh, property and give it a value maybe in the negative and we'll see the you know the stack order actually change before that let me change the position property of this element to relative and see what happens so i'm going to make it relative and people the normal flow is actually preserved this time okay um, now I'm gonna make a uh, you know uh, now I'm gonna add top and left properties uh, I can even add bottom and right properties uh, which are honored only if it is not static the element is not static as long as an element is static no matter what are the values attached to top bottom left or right positions they just don't work these placements don't work for them for in, in order for them to work the element has to be either relative has to be either absolute or has to be either fixed okay let me add these properties and uh, then we'll dis uh, discuss it even further so i'm going to say top 0 px and uh, left that's 0 px again right 
You see, I made the left and the top 0 px, but the object, the word 2 didn't move. That's because when you set something to relative, it's going to move in relation to where it originally is. Since it's originally at the position it is at the moment now, it's not going to budge because it's going to move relative to where it is actually anchored in the first place. If I'm going to change these values to a 10, say left 10, you see it moves 10 pixels from where it originally was. And uh, 10 out here, see the kind of change that's actually happening. I'm going to make it 20. See, it's overlapping now, right? So, um, when you set something to be relative, it's going to move relative to its own position. Now, if I'm, I'm going to set something to a fixed, beg your pardon. Now I've set it to fixed. So now what is actually happening? It's moving, but in relationship to the browser window. So from the top it's uh, actually 20 p px and from the left it's actually 10 px. Moreover, it's not going to scroll with the page, right? So it's it's firm. It's standing its ground, right? But if I set it to absolute, it's going to scroll with the page. beg your pardon just choose an option from here right uh, although this you can't see any difference uh, whether it's fixed or whether it's absolute you don't see any difference on the on the screen but if I were to scroll the page if there were more content I would have shown you that uh, when it's actually absolute it's gonna scroll with the page there's a difference between uh, fixed and absolute a big big difference when you set something to an absolute it's uh, relative to its containing p uh, parent as long as that parent is not static and in case that kind of parent is not available as in our case then the containing uh, containing parent is supposed to be HTML or the browser window and that's exactly what is happening but if this were two were in another uh, division which were either relative or uh, absolute or fixed as long as it was not static then uh, the word 2 or the h1 element 2 would be would move uh, left and top in relationship to the containing parent which is non static right but as far as the fixed element is concerned it's always uh, relative to the browser window or the top left corner of the page so that's another big difference that you need to understand between absolute and fixed right and I told you that whether an, uh, if, uh, whether an element is absolute or relative or fixed you can actually control the way it actually overlaps as you can see out here the word 2 is over the word 3 out here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a Z index to it and give it a negative value that will ensure that it will go under the word 3 as we can very clearly see out here. So for controlling the stack order of elements which are either relative or, or fixed or uh, absolute you can use the Z index to control the way it actually overlaps. right? So these are the differences between uh, the different type of uh, position properties absolute static and uh, relative and you see if I make it static which is also the default the uh, top and left values are not honored these placements top left right and bottom are gonna be honored only if it's non-static which is again uh, not the default the default is that it's always static we can attach another uh, a value to the position property and that is inherit basically it will inherit whatever the value is given to it by its parent so it's gonna grab it from the parent right and uh, before I leave you people I'm gonna show you the page scrolling part that I pr promised you earlier so I'm gonna keep it fixed I'm gonna show you that how it will not scroll with the page I'm gonna copy this bit uh, many times right I'm 
going to make sure that I save it. I'm going to take up a preview in Chrome and I'm going to scroll and you're going to see that the word 2 is actually cemented to its place. But if I were to make it absolute and uh, let's test it out again after saving the changes to the document you see it actually scrolls with the page although the original position is still the same it's gonna scroll off with the page right so people I hope now whatever confusion you might have had regarding the position properties is uh, clear now I also hope that you'll sub and uh, you'll comment you'll also keep uh, coming back for more and more tutorials from me. You have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace.